लर्नर्स माई सेल्फ नेह मदान वेलकम टू एन आई यू एस सीनियर सेकेंडरी बायोलॉजी प्रोग्राम टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट न्यूट्रीशन एंड हेल्थ पार्ट टू एज वी नो गैक इन आवर डाइट देर आर सर्टेन मेजर न्यूक्रियट्स गैक इज कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स प्रोटीन्स फैट्स वाइटमिन एंड मिनरल्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वाइटमिन इन डिटेल दो वी नो गैक वाइटमिन आर रिक्वायर्ड ओनली इन अ स्मॉल अमाउंट इन आवर डाइट बट दे प्ले द इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल फॉर द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ आवर बॉडी वाइटमिन आर बेसिकली डिवाइड इन टू टू कैटेगरीज डैक इज वाटर सेलूबल वाइटमिन एंड फैट सेलूबल वाइटमिन इन द वाटर सेलूबल वाइटमिन वी हैव द वाइटमिन बी कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड वाइटमिन सी एंड इन द फैट सेलूबल वाइटमिन वी हैव द कैटेगरी ऑफ वाइटमिन ए डी ई एंड के Let us discuss about water soluble vitamins in detail. The first water soluble vitamin is vitamin B1 which is chemically known as thymine. What are the functions of this vitamin? We can see in the table its functions are carbohydrate metabolism, its functions are to sharpen the appetite, it increases the thirst for the food in our body and its functioning of proper heart muscles and the nerves. so vitamin b1 performs the important functions related to functioning of our heart functioning of our muscles functioning of our nerves and it plays an important role in the carbohydrate metabolism in our body now the question arises what are the food sources from which we can get vitamin b1 in our diet we can get vitamin b1 from yeast liver meat cheese egg and whole grain cereals now If we do not take adequate amount of vitamin B1 in our diet, then it will result into deficiency disease, which is known as beri beri. The symptoms of this disease are: there is a pain in hand, feet; there can be paralysis of a body, and there is a swelling, which result into oedema. As you can see in the figure, the person is suffering from the oedema, that is swelling of the joint areas. Let us move to the another vitamin that is a vitamin B2. Vitamin B2 is known as riboflavin. Riboflavin plays important role in the carbohydrate and protein metabolism in our body. Its role is to keep our skin healthy. What are the major food sources from which we can get vitamin B2? We can get vitamin B2 from both the animal and the plant sources such as meat, cheese, yeast, liver. whole grain cereals legumes etc but if we don't take adequate amount of vitamin b2 in our diet then we will suffer from the deficiency disease that is riboflavinosis riboflavinosis can be recognized from the following symptoms in the person body such as a deficiency can lead to retarded growth and mental disorders there can be as we can see in the figure there can be cracking at the corners of the mouth area or there can be lesions also let us move on to the another water soluble vitamin that is vitamin b4 vitamin b4 is chemically known as niacin and its functions are related to coenzyme for protein carbohydrate and protein metabolism and to keep skin healthy Again we can get this vitamin from the different food sources from both the plant and animal origin such as we can get this vitamin from fish legumes pulses cereals ground nuts and vegetables if the deficiency occurs of this vitamin in our diet in our food we will suffer from a disease known as pellagra Pellagra is can be recognized with the three symptoms which are often called as a 3D disease. The first symptom is dermatitis. Dermatitis result into the dry skin. Another D is diarrhea. Diarrhea result into loose motions. Another symptom is dementia. Another D is dementia that it can result into the mental disorders. Now let us move on to the another vitamin that is a vitamin B12. which is chemically known as cyanobalmin cyanobalmin is basically plays an important role in the formation of the blood nervous tissue metabolism and synthesis of nucleic acids the best food sources for this vitamins are fish egg liver milk and the meat 
this vitamin deficiency can result into a serious type of anemia that is a pernicious anemia as we can see in the figure above that in this the red blood cells become broken. Symptoms, how can we recognize a person is suffering from the pernicious anemia? We can recognize with the help of few symptoms such as paleness of a skin. The skin of the person become pale yellow in color. There is breathlessness and there is a recardiac growth in the body. Now let's move to the another vitamin category that is the vitamin C which is chemically known as ascorbic acid. Vitamin C plays an important role in providing us a resistance to infection that is protecting our body from different kinds of infections. Its major role is to keep our teeth and gums healthy and keep our joints in, uh, joints in the healthy condition. It also helps us in the healing of the wounds and the cuts and maintenance of a connective tissues. Vitamin C all the fruits and vegetables which belong to the citrus fruits and vegetables category are the richest source of the vitamin C. Fruits such as amla, lemon, orange, green chilies, pineapple, they are the richest source of a vitamin C. But if the deficiency of these vitamins take place in our diet, then we can suffer from the disease which is known as scurvy. And scurvy result into bleeding of the gums, general pain in joints, and weakness inside the body. Now till here we have covered all the water soluble vitamins that is vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B4, vitamin B12 and vitamin C. Now let us start with the fat soluble vitamins. The first fat soluble vitamin is vitamin A which is chemically known as retinol. Retinol plays an important role related to keep our vision healthy and skin healthy. Its basic purpose is for the synthesis of visual pigments. From where we can get the vitamin A in our diet? We can get vitamin A in our diet from the different products such as milk, cheese, cod liver oil, butter, carrot, yellow oil, orange color fruits and vegetables, pumpkins, mango, pineapple, etc. Deficiency can result into the disease which is known as night blindness zero pathelemia or keratinol. The symptoms which we can find due to this deficiency of this disease are the person is not able to see in a dim light and there is a retarded keratinization of epithelial cells. As we can see in the figure, our eyes become, uh, they develop the blank spot and retinol, uh, retina becomes squeezed. Let us move to the another category of fat soluble vitamin that is vitamin D. Vitamin D is chemically known as calciferol and its main functions are related to keep our bones and teeth healthy and plays an important role in absorption of calcium and phosphorus in our body. The best food sources for this vitamins are milk and milk products. And the most important source which the nature has provided to us is the sunlight. That is the maximum exposure to the sunlight, the maximum vitamin D we get in our body. A deficiency can result into rickets in children and osteomalacia in adults. We often hear that the person suffers from the knee joint pains, pain in their bones or often result into softening of bones. Symptom of this vitamin deficiency result into failure of a growing bones to calcify, chest of a person become a pinching type chest and there is softening of bones. As we can see in the figure, the person is suffering from numerous bone disease. Another category of a fat soluble vitamin is vitamin E which is chemically known as tocopherol. Tocopherol, vitamin E plays an important function. It acts as an antioxidant and anti-aging vitamin. Best food sources from which we can get the vitamin E are green leafy vegetables, vegetable oils and nuts. Egg deficiency result into the reproduction problems in the males and females. Symptoms are sterility in male and it can result into the death of an embryo during the pregnancy period. Another fat soluble vitamin is vitamin K, which is chemically known as phylloquinone. Vitamin K plays an important role in clotting of a blood. 
as we can see in the figure, if we have the efficiency of this vitamin K, then our blood will not stop immediately if any time we get injured. It also plays an important role in preventing the hemorrhage in our body. The best food sources are tomatoes, soya beans, green leafy vegetables. Its symptoms result in delayed blood clotting. So learners till here we have covered the basically all the types of vitamins which are required in our body in different different amount and from different sources how we can get these vitamins and if we don't take adequate amount of these vitamins in our body then we can suffer from the numerous disease and we have discussed about the symptoms. Now move on to the next category of nutrients that is the minerals. Though minerals are required in the very small amount in our diet, they are required in the small amount but they play an important role. They occur as inorganic elements occurring in the form of their salts like is calcium, phosphorus, iron etc. They do not supply us energy but they provide us the protection against numerous diseases. The first we discuss about the minerals which are required by our body in the large amount and the minerals which are required in the trace amount. The minerals which are required in a large amount in the body are calcium, phosphorus, sodium potassium, sodium chloride. Minerals which are required in a trace amounts are iron, iodine, zinc, chromium, cobalt, magnesium, manganese, etc. Now let us discuss about the very first mineral that is calcium. Calcium is required for the formation of the bones and teeth, for the absorption of the vitamin D in our body, for synthesis of the nerves and proper functioning of the nerves and muscles. Best food sources of calcium in our diet are milk and milk products, green leafy vegetables and fish. Calcium deficiency in our diet often results into rickets in children and osteomalacia in adults. Symptoms can be Related to the pains in the joints and the bones, failure of a growing bone to calcify, pinching type chest and softening of bones. Another mineral is iron. Iron is a very important constituent of our body. Role of the iron is in the formation of a hemoglobin and to act as a source of oxygen. Food sources which are rich in iron are green leafy vegetables, eggs, spinach, groundnut, and jaggery etc. We often hear if the person is suffering from the iron deficiency, the person will be suffering from anemia and person who suffer from the anemia often give us the following symptoms such as loss of appetite, paleness of skin and tiredness. The person always feel lethargic. Another mineral is phosphorus. Phosphorus plays important role in the formation of bones and teeth. Major food sources of the phosphorus are milk and milk products, cereals, bajra and meat. A deficiency is related to the problems in the bones and development of the bones. It results into rickets in children and osteomalacia in adults. Its symptoms can be failure of a growing bones to calcify, pinching type chest and softening of bones. Another mineral is iodine. Iodine plays an important role in controlling the hormone thyroxine which is related to the thyroid gland and it plays an important role in controlling the growth and mental ability. The richest source of iodine is the iodized salt, seafood, fish, green leafy vegetables. A deficiency can lead to goiter. Goiter results into enlargement of thyroid gland and it requires physical and mental ability of a body. As we can see in the figure, the person is suffering from the goiter which results into enlargement of a thyroid gland in the body. Moving on to the another mineral that is sodium and potassium. Sodium and potassium plays an important role in maintaining the water balance in the body. Common sources of the sodium and potassium in our diet are common salt, and they are present in the salts of all the fruits and vegetables. Deficiency disease often result into high blood pressure or oedemia. Symptoms can be severe malnutrition, high blood pressure and it often result into fatigue in the body. Now till here we have covered all the minerals in our diet that is calcium, iron, phosphorus, potassium and sodium. 
Now let us move on to the another major nutrient of our diet that is water. Water is an important constituent of our diet. As we know, the 75% of infant body and 60% of infant body is nothing but it is water only. What are the functions of water in our body? Water plays an important role in the transport and digestion of the food. It plays the role in the excretion of the waste products in the body. It plays an important role in maintaining the temperature of the body. It acts as a solvent for various reactions taking place in our body. Sources of water, drinking plain water, water is present in tea, coffee, each and everything, each and every fruit and vegetable contains water in itself. Water can also come as a byproduct from the oxidation of glucose in the body. Another major nutrient is the rough fish. Rough fish though it is not the food in itself but it plays an important role in our diet. It is present in some of the foods such as fruits and vegetables, it is made up of our cellulose and it is also the important part of our diet. Our diet is incomplete without rough fish. What are the functions of a rough fish? Rough fish helps in the bowel movements, it cleans our digestive tract and it plays an important role in the digestive alignments. It helps us to maintain the water balance in our body. It helps us in maintaining optimum levels of uh, blood cholesterol and sugar in our body. Learners, still here we have discussed that the nutrient plays important role in our diet. Whether it is a rough fish, water, carbohydrates, proteins, minerals, vitamins, each of them have their important role to play in our body to keep our body healthy. And we have also discussed if any of the vitamin get deficient in our diet, then we will suffer from the numerous disease and which will affect functioning of our body. At last, I would like to discuss a question that is a food for thought for you. Some food that you need to think upon that, that what should our diet include? Now the question arises, if each and every nutrient is very important in our diet, then what should our food include? This is a question which need to be think by you for the future. Thank you learners for listening carefully.